It's now finally just one click for Blender artists to send their 3D character from Character Creator 4 to Blender to improve blend shapes or the general shape of the character and then one click to send it back to Character Creator thanks to the new free Go B plugin. Let's have a look! So here we are in Character Creator 4 and here is a character I'm currently working on. I've uh, just recently started working on it. So I've uh, worked on the general shape of the face and the body. And I still have all of the blend shapes uh, to go through and make sure that they're looking perfect for animation. So if we jump into the face rig here and play a, a demo animation, you can see that a lot of the blend shapes are broken, such as the eyes and the eyelids as you can see here, and the blinks. So there's still a lot of work to be done on this character. So when you want to improve the blend shapes, you can of course do it directly in Character Creator, or you can uh, send it to ZBrush, if you're uh, familiar with ZBrush. However, I prefer to work in Blender. And finally, we Blender artists can now use a very similar approach with the new Go B plugin that lets you one-click send the character to uh, Blender to improve the blend shapes and then send it back without having to go through a lot of export settings and unnecessary stuff like that. And I have uh, just recently started to improve the blend shapes. So here you can see an example of frown, how I've changed it from the default one to my custom more stylized frown using the new Gobi plugin. The first step as always is to download the plugin. It's free over on GitHub. So the first one we need is called CC slash IC Blender Tools Add-on. I'm using the latest version 2.1.3. And the other one is very similarly called CC slash IC Blender Pipeline Plugin uh, version 2.1.3. So don't mix them up, one for Blender and one for Character Creator. When you've uh, gone ahead and downloaded them, simply right click on the uh, one for character creator, not the one for Blender, and hit extract to extract the folder within. This folder you want to copy or cut and paste it into wherever you've installed character creator. So for me, it's in program files, Relution, character creator 4, bin 64, and then there's a folder called open plugin. If you don't have this folder, create a folder called open plugin. For the Blender plugin, you want to head over to edit and then preferences and over in add-ons, hit install, and then select the zip file. And as mentioned previously, you don't want to unzip this beforehand, you want this to be a zip folder. And when you've installed it, it should be down to the right, called CCIC link. And now it's time to connect the plugins so they talk to each other. Back in Character Creator, you can see that we now have under Plugins, Blender Pipeline, we have the Gobi plugin installed. You can also access the plugin uh, over from the toolbar up in the center of the screen uh, by pressing the uh, chain icon here. We'll dock this to the right and then click Start Server to start the connection. It changes from Connect to Listening and it says Waiting for Connection. So let's jump back to Blender and hit connect. You can now see in this small window that the two plugins are connected to each other. So now we can send the character uh, back and forth between the softwares. So we want to send our character here over to Blender. And we want to make some changes to the blend shapes. And to do that, simply hit send avatar and it will uh, automatically send the character over to Blender. It will send the character uh, in its bind pose. So it doesn't matter if uh, the character is standing in a T pose or a, an A pose or whatever, it's going to send the character in a bind pose. However, when we're doing the blend shapes, it's very important that the poses match. Otherwise we will screw a lot of things up. So jump into the facial profile editor and your character will change into a T pose. And then when it's in a T pose, hit send pose in the data link plugin. And it will copy and paste that pose to Blender. 
And you can now see that the character has updated to the pose you have in uh, Character Creator. The next step is uh, optional, but I prefer to work with a higher subdivision mesh when doing sculpting. Then you want to select the character and head over to the Object Data Properties. Scroll down to the corresponding blend shape that you want to modify. In my case, it's the Blink Morphs I want to change today. You can see that when I change the value to 1, it doesn't look like the character is blinking at all. So we'll fix that. With the character selected, jump into Sculpt Mode. And make sure that X Symmetry is turned on. It will make your life a lot easier. Select the blend shape once again. And now you can start sculpting the blend shape however you want. So I'll select the Grab tool and make sure that uh, Dynotopo is turned off because you can't increase or decrease the number of vertices on your mesh. Otherwise, it will not recognize the mesh when doing the re-import. So I'll do some work on the eyelashes here. And I'm going to speed this up. Now you can use your knowledge in Blender's sculpting tools to sculpt the blend shape the way you want it. With a lot more fine detail control than you would have in Character Creator. And I would also recommend using the lasso mask to mask out the areas that you want to affect. So I'll draw a lasso around my selection here. And then you can invert the mask by hitting Ctrl I or Ctrl Invert. I'm also going to smooth out the mask a bit. You can change the iterations of the uh, smoothing down here. And I'm going to change back to the grab brush and start sculpting the eyelids. Perfect. So now his eyelids are fully closed. You can disable the mask again by hitting Alt M. Let's go back to object mode. When you're done with the sculpting, it's very important that you delete the subdivision modifier because you can't increase or decrease the number of vertices on your mesh. Otherwise, Character Creator will not recognize the uh, mesh when doing the re-import. And I will demonstrate what happens if you don't hit mesh to send the mesh back. And you can see that you get this error message. So in order to avoid this, make sure that you delete the subdivision modifier. Let's jump back to Character Creator 4 and go into the Facial Profile Editor, which is where you can modify your blend shapes for the character. I'm going to change the value of the blink all the way up to 1. And this is how the blend shape currently looks. And we're going to update this shape with the one we sculpted in Blender. So with the subdivision modifier removed, now you can simply hit Mesh and it will send the mesh back to Character Creator without having to go through a lot of export menus and stuff. Sweet. Then you can do a quick update to update the blend shapes in Character Creator and do a split part if you've done a mirror sculpt and even though the workflow works, you can see that I have to do some uh, more adjusting on the eyelids to make sure that they don't uh, poke through the mesh. But using this workflow, you can now very easily go back and forth between Blender and Character Creator to make sure that every blend shape on your character is looking flawless. The black shadow you can see here is caused by the eye occlusion, which is a very thin layer mesh so make sure that you don't uh, destroy it when uh, improving your blend shapes in Blender. So I'm probably going to have to redo this blend shape. You can of course use this workflow to sculpt your character in general. It doesn't have to be to improve the blend shapes. You can do it to sculpt like the head mesh or the body mesh. So here I'm just showing uh, quickly fixing the eye occlusion uh, mesh very easily using the sculpt mode instead of doing it in Character Creator. 
So now we have a perfect eye occlusion uh, mesh on the eyes uh, as well. But like I mentioned, you can of course use this to sculpt uh, the body or the head and etc. So there you have it. Now we Blender artists can finally use Blender instead of ZBrush to sculpt uh, blend shapes and characters uh, using this new GoB plugin. And it's also free, which is amazing. So as always, I hope you found the video informative and helpful. I'll put the download links to the GoB plugins down below uh, over on GitHub. Thank you so much for watching and goodbye.